Hey guys, welcome to another third video of the project. Uh, what was I saying? Project swap. Project swap. We did the transmission engine transmission. Now it's time for the rear diff. It's actually I just had a look at it. It's it should be so much easier than an 06, 07, 04, 05 STI. The the GD chassis. I think it's the GD. Remember, this is an 11. All right, let's let's take a look. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is drain the oil. I'm not going to worry about the fill plug because this is not coming back into this car. So I'm just going to drain it. Actually, I don't even have to, but uh, I will because if I tilt it, the oil is going to spill from where the axles are. So it looks like I need to obviously take the nut, axle, nut, axle nuts off. Then it looks like I can just take this off and this off so this whole control arm will come down and the and the sway valve link also so these three and this will should move back enough for me to take the axle out and these two i believe these are 19 mil nuts or studs and then you've got this another bracket or a little little cross member here whatever you call it that holds on to the carrier so you can uh, take these two off and that's it you can see these holes here these are used on the STIs at least what I know is 04 to 07 and there is just a lot more stuff there that you gotta take off as you can see the drive shed is off and that's that should be it if anything comes up you know that's gonna be different or difficult i will let you know after i'm done i gotta move quickly through this because the guy that's supposed to grab this is coming by in 20 minutes guys i must apologize it's all gone the five speed, the rear diff, the engine, it's all gone. So I can't really show you how the diff looks, but with my flashlight. It used to be there, so very easy. Exactly what I said. But what I did, I didn't even bother to take the axles out separately. I just dropped the rear diff and took the axles out with it. So they're like, you know, like this. Kind of angled down, then I pulled they were still stuck in the knuckle. Then I pulled on the diff and they just came out. You know, kind of you know, carefully going back and forth and uh, pulling on them so they don't drop on the, on the concrete. That was it. And they just went out with the axles attached. Much, much easier than the 06s, than the, what is it, the GD body STIs. So much easier. So on the 06 STIs, it's a four bolt mount right this doesn't exist you got these long bolts that go through here from the bottom up and you have these brackets on the side so there's literally this four and then another two four two here and two here bolts so eight total on this thing you only have the two here here and here and the same on the o6s and and these in the rear so that's all you, you're, you're only doing these two and these two and this diff is coming down that's all so we took some stuff off the engine we already switched the clutch slave cylinder so it doesn't drip and now we're waiting on uh, the new engine to get built so actually i'm not sure what's going to be next I'm probably going to start with mounting the differential. We're going to open it up, clean it out, because it's actually missing the, the breather right on top. This guy here. So I'm sure some stuff got in it. So rear cover off. We're going to clean it. We're also going to take care of this dirty, nasty engine bay. Give it a ref you know, pss, 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 refresh.
guys well this was kind of nasty but it's looking good now I do plan on replacing the oil after maybe a short drive once the car is ready and done you know go out for a test drive and then just replace all the oils including engine oil because remember it's going to be a brand new engine including the rear diff so it's going to be kind of a, a flush you know just to get make sure all the dirt is out of there it's you know more or less somewhat clean but uh, I don't want to spend more time dismantling the whole thing just for clean so I'm gonna now remember this was flush with the uh, with the case here so I'm gonna just find a bigger big enough socket to go over this lip but rest on this part of the seal is actually metal inside so it's gonna rest on here not damaging this and over so once I hit this well let's just do it you, you'll see what I mean you know what I don't feel like looking for a socket I'm just gonna do it the old-fashioned way which is just using a hammer clean hammer and just lightly All right, using this bearing and seal driver. Okay, we're gonna do the other side and we'll be back. guys got a little malfunction ran out of memory card space but we're back all I did was tighten up hand tighten all the 14 mil bolts and the diff cover reinstalled the both plugs don't have new seals for those I'm gonna have to wait next time now you saw me put RTV on both sides on the cover and on the carrier uh, why? Well, two reasons. They like to leak and this one, the aluminum cover, it already had some corrosion on one side. You saw it cleaning it was discolored. So that's a guarantee that it's gonna leak. So although it's got a metal gasket, I still put RTV essentially on both sides of the gasket. It has been 10 minutes, I guess, since I put the cover back on. 50 minutes more till we can torque it down and that's going to be 21.7 or 0 0.2, 0 0.5, 22, let's, let's, just, let's just do 22. Now the last touch is this breather cap, very important, okay, this needs to be there, don't, don't be plugging this hole up, mm -mm. don't do that. I'm going to slide this in. I'm just going to slide this in. Okay, just slide this. What the hell's wrong with this? Just slide in already. Is this too big? I know. I know. Oil. Now, now watch it slide in now. Alright, I'm just going to slide this in. Come on now! People are watching! Alright, where's my hand? Well, that's never coming out. No, but the top part spins, which means it's it's open. This uh, kind of went well. And this is the part number for the breather cap. Can you see as yes, you can? 
There you go, in case you're wondering. All right, so we're just gonna wait another 50, whatever, 40 minutes, torque this down, and this is gonna be ready to, you know, for its new home, basically. Because this is, remember, this is from a different, was it Legacy Spec B? Yeah, this is from a Legacy Spec B. Actually, I should mention, it's been three months since I did anything to this future beast been sitting like this for three months, maybe even longer than three months, because I had no parts. Engine is still being built, built by the way. Uh, we're doing a swap, guys. We're doing a swap from five speed to six speed, and we got a transmission, six speed transmission, and the rear diff from a Spec B Legacy from Japan. We got axles and blah, all that stuff. So. If you missed the strip down, I guess, I'm gonna post the link up there somewhere. And uh, soon we're gonna find out if this fits.